Microsoft has generally had a track record of supporting hardware long into obsolescence, meaning that the hardware performance would determine end of life rather than lack of software support. But how far can we push it? Okay, let's get started on the build. The case was built by Ultra, which I believe was a Tiger Direct house brand. Before getting started, always make sure to wear your anti-static bracelet. I start by removing the side panel and installing the I.O. shield. The motherboard being used is an Asus P5B Deluxe, which is absurdly overkill for the other specs of this PC. An Asus P5KPL-CM board was going to be used, but it seemed to have a failing bias and would only intermittently boot. Next, I carefully expose the CPU socket and install our lightning fast Pentium 4 631, a whole 3 gigahertz of dual threaded single core processing power. Seat in a single stick of 512 megabyte DDR2 RAM by Samsung. Apply the correct amount of thermal compound and install the cooler. Now the motherboard is ready to be installed into the case and screwed down. Ensuring I used enough confidence to tighten down all the screws, I completely forgot to show that I connected the front panel, buttons and LEDs. Okay, almost done. Gotta get the power supply in and connect the 24 and 8 pin power cables. Installing the GPU. Shown here is an ATI Radeon X550, but for some reason it wouldn't work properly. So the GPU is swapped out for an ATI Radeon X300 SE off camera. Lastly, connect the IDE cables, hard drive, and power. For this build, we're spinning a 160GB Western Digital Caviar SE. Only the finest caviar for Windows 11. Linus's team tried a Pentium 4 630 and found that it boot looped, after which they moved to a Core 2 Duo E8400 CPU. The difference between Linus's Pentium 4 630 and our 631? The spec sheet suggests the most noteworthy difference is a missing LAHF slash SAHF CPU instruction. So it's possible that the Pentium 4 631 is the oldest CPU capable of booting Windows 11. If you've booted Windows 11 on an older one, please let us know in the comments. Our copy of Windows 11 was installed on an IDE hard drive via an SATA to IDE adapter in a known compatible PC. The scope of this project was strictly to boot a working copy of Windows 11 on the oldest possible hardware, so it was pre-installed to eliminate potential hardware checks during installation. The install went smoothly as documented by many others. So here is the final step. The monitor is a CRT orchestra trumpet from 1997. It's worth noting that the dark spot on the monitor is an illusion due to the camera refresh rate and does not appear in person. The keyboard is a Mitsuku, Mitsuko, which is a generic run-of-the-mill membrane PS2 keyboard which fit the monitor aesthetic. And to follow the same time period is a rebranded Logitech M-S48A PS2 mouse. These mice were exceptionally popular with many companies such as HP, Compaq, AOPEN, and many other smaller computer shops buying them with customized logos. Using a stopwatch, it's pretty obvious why Microsoft suggests you don't run it with 512 megabytes of RAM. A whole 6 minutes and 58 seconds to visually open desktop, and 13 minutes and 53 seconds to get to a task manager. This is totally unusable. So I swapped in a 2 gigabyte stick and the OS livened up to a very usable state, booting from cold to an open task manager in only a 1 minute 30 seconds on spinning rust even. Not bad. Now of course this wouldn't be a complete video without loading a DOS game from a floppy. Unfortunately Windows hasn't been able to run DOS application for many years as you probably know, but DOSBox should do the trick. Drag and drop the DOS EXE file into DOSBox and Kablamma! Commander Keen! 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you can really help this channel grow by hitting the like, subscribe, and bell icons. So what do you think about this video? Have you tried to install Windows 11 on aging hardware? If this computer was maxed out with 8 gigs of RAM, an SSD, and a decent GPU, how well do you think it would gain? Tell us your thoughts by leaving a comment below. Until next time.